Welcome, in front of me is a Samsung Galaxy A52 and today I will show you how to record your screen on this phone. So to get started let's pull down our notification panel and find the toggle for recording your screen which for me it's basically the last one right over here. So once you find it you can either tap on it uh, straight up and start recording or you can also hold it which this will take us to the settings where we'll have option to customize a couple of different things. So we have things like video quality where it will allow us to change the quality of the recording. Now it looks like right now uh, the default one is 1080p which is I would say really good. If you want to save a little bit on storage you could drop it to 720p but I would strongly recommend not going anywhere lower than that because if you are going to be re-watching this on anything uh, bigger than this screen, um, for instance like a normal monitor, it will look like just straight up garbage. Now in terms of sound, on the Samsung devices it is really nice that we can record both sounds. Uh, so we have the no sound, media sound or media and microphone. Um, so in here select whichever one you want, although uh, one little pointer I would give you is if you plan to record the media sound which is just going to be any kind of sound that the application on your phone makes uh, and microphone do use headphones for this. Um, so even if you're not planning to listen to the audio that, it, uh, that it's coming out of it, uh, you can just straight up plug in headphones and put them to the side just so uh, the microphone isn't picking up the sound that the phone is making because it's basically gonna record it twice in this case. Uh, if the microphone hears the phone, it's gonna basically use the microphone recording, which is picking up the sound and the actual sound of uh, whatever the phone is making making this kind of an echo effect that wouldn't be very desirable. So even if you're not planning to use uh, or listen to whatever the phone is making, plug in headphones just to not have that happen. And from there, once you set those two things, you can basically leave it, leave the settings right here and go back to the toggle and simply tap on it to start recording. Now when you're doing it just the first time, it will ask you to access things like uh, Samsung Capture, which I believe it's just uh, the app that or the function that is uh, used to actually record the screen. Uh, microphone, obviously because it is set to record uh, or it can record microphone and also the media. And uh, capture you know, access to photos, medias and stuff like that to drive uh, storage uh, just so it has a place to save somewhere. So obviously let's allow all of those. And again, when you uh, start recording, it brings up this panel, what kind of sound you want to record. So media sound, media mic and no sound. I'm gonna stay with the middle one, which is just a media and start recording. This will start the countdown. And after the three seconds, it automatically starts recording. So from here, whatever I will do right now will be captured. And that also will include apps. So if I open up, as you can see messages, uh, dialer, it will all be recorded. I also have access to things like just the drawing function. So I can, I don't know, highlight something right here. Like so, if I wanted to. Um, and once I'm done, I can either pause it or completely close it off with uh, by tapping on the square. Now I'll mention one little thing. Um, you are not able to record everything. So as an example, if you try to record Netflix, uh, the only thing you will get is just a straight up black screen. Um, I believe it does record sound, but uh, it will not record anything that the display is showing. So you will just have straight up blackness. Um, and that also basically goes over to any kind of streaming application that would stream uh, movies and TV shows. They all black screen recorders, uh, just so well, people can't record screen like the TV shows and post them easily. So just keep that in mind. Um, now, once you have captured your recording, you can find it in the gallery app. So let's just open that up, go to the gallery and there we go. That's the recording. As you can see it's playing already. So that is how you can record your screen on here. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.